All right, guys, how's it going? It's Gaz here on Transfer Daily for full-time Devils. Let's get straight into it and talk about all the latest Manchester United transfer rumours. So today, we're talking about Renato Sanchez. He's a Benfica player, 18 years old, and is in fantastic form in that Portuguese league. Can't think of a player that we've ever signed that was 18 years old who was in good form in the uh, Portuguese league, can you? Um, yeah, I'm not comparing him though. Uh, centre mid, uh, he can play on the left, he's right footed and he looks like a real talent as well. 18 years old, no matter what you say about the Portuguese league or anything like that, if you're performing when you're 18 years old in that league, that is pretty impressive. Uh, we were there scouting him against Nacional when he played against them. A few English clubs were there as well. Newcastle were there, Swansea and Aston Villa as well. They were all scouting him. But I imagine if Man United actually wanted him, we could get him pretty darn easily. Guys, I'm going to leave this one up to you. Get in the comments. I'm sure that you guys have seen him play a lot more than me. And tell me, is this guy the real deal or is he just... Uh, just a, a flash in the pan wonder kid. He's not actually gonna. He's not actually gonna be absolutely class. He's gonna be more like a. I don't know, a Freddy Adu. God, remember Freddy Adu, football manager legend. Anyway, uh, moving on from that, let's talk about a very well-known player that we are interested in now. Uh, Mario Goethe. Apparently, he's going to be leaving Bayern at the end of the season. This is due to his lack of game time. Apparently, he's very frustrated at Bayern at the minute and he wants a change. Now, there's two clubs that are interested in. Man United are interested in him and Liverpool are interested in him as well. Now, Liverpool obviously uh, have a very good chance of getting him due to the Jurgen Klopp connection there. However, if Man United do finish very far above Liverpool this season, which I think there's a chance we could, if we get top four, I don't think Liverpool will be anywhere near it, um, then hopefully we could snatch him from their grasp because Mario Goethe is a class talent. We all agree on that and he's not getting enough game time at Bayern at the minute. So we want to see him playing every week. Just all football fans would want to see a player playing like that every single week, wouldn't they? Uh, rather than being on the bench. Now moving on from him to uh, another German player, Tony Kroos uh, of Real Madrid, of course. World-class centre mid. Everyone really does rate Tony Kroos, a great player. 40 million, Real Madrid have said he's going to cost if Man United want him. He'd definitely sort out our team. I think he'd be a massive signing for us if we were to get him. Obviously not a big flashy signing, but an important signing if you're going to be a team that wins the league title. Tony Kroos apparently would cost 40 million. Is he worth it? Get in the comments below. For me, I'd say he's worth that, definitely. I think he'd be a really good player in the Premiership. I think he has all the attributes for it. Uh, right, moving on from the Germans, let's go on to this. Uh, there are, obviously, this is very interesting. Now, Anthony Marshall, when we signed Anthony Marshall, um, there were so many reports going around about 50 million, 70 million, 30 million, however much we actually spent on them. Uh, a website uh, called uh, Football Leaks, sorry, I was trying to get the name of the website then. A website called Football Leaks has basically got their hands on the documents apparently about Anthony Marshall's signing, which list every single aspect of it. So let's go into it. So this is apparently what we paid. 15 million up front, this is in pounds, 15 million up front, 23 million in July, that's this July we're going to pay. Uh, and then, this is where it gets in interesting. We're going to be paying, apparently, 7.5 million each time one of these things happens. So, if he scores 25 goals for Man United, 7.5 million to Monaco. If he gets 25 appearances to France, 7.5 million to Monaco. And if he gets nominated for the Ballon d'Or, we will be giving 7.5 million to Monaco as well. So, this transfer fee could potentially skyrocket. However, if he's scoring 25 goals for United, if he's getting nominated for Ballon d'Ors, then he's worth it, isn't he? He's worth the extra 7.5 million for that, clearly. So I'm not really too fussed about that. I actually think it's a decent bit of business. Maybe it's a little bit too much up front and in July combined. But still, the add-ons, not too fussed about them. The performance related, got no problem with that. Uh, anyway, finishing on this, the under-21s won 4-0 last night. Adnan Yanazai got a couple. Uh, go and check out the goals if you get a chance. There were some good uh, good finishes in there. Um, do you think we actually need signings when we've got those under-21s? Do you think there are any players there who deserve to step up into the first team? Let me know in the comments. I'm not too sure myself. I still think we need some ready-made talent. Anyway, guys, get in the comments. Tell me what you think about everything. Give this a like. Give this a share. I've been Gaz. I'm full-time Devils. See you in a bit.
We're going in straight in there with a straight right today. Lewandowski has been linked to us by Bleacher Report. This is an article which also says that we're about to go on a mad spending spree. Uh, 